Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe so you can be notified when I go live or upload a new video and please like this video. It really does help me out. Now it's taken me a while to get on here and do this video because I didn't quite know what to say about this uh, because it really has affected me. Uh, it's really you know, it, it's really gotten to me. Some of the articles I've seen, some of the images I've seen that are not very good. And it's just broke my heart on what is going on over in Israel. Um, but I did want to bring this out to you guys. And for those, who, and I'm sure everybody, most people have already heard about this. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to come on and kind of get my thoughts on this situation. Uh, but first, let's get into some facts. Um, on October 7th, 2023, Palestinian militant groups led by Hamas launched, launched a large-scale invasion and offensive against Israel from the Gaza Strip, breaking through the Gaza-Israeli border barrier. Now, and they were forcing entry into Gaza border crossings nearby Israeli cities. Now, my question is, how? How did this happen? How in the world did this happen? Who was sleeping at the will? Who was who fell asleep? That's what I want to know. I don't understand the the, the border. Now, they were saying there was a report saying that. They did expect and were that they had had thoughts that they were ha getting ready to have an attack, but they believed that this attack would probably come from the north. And so they really, maybe they weren't expecting it to come from the south, but still, even then, how did this happen? How did was anybody able to do this now there is word that you know biden he unfroze some funds six six billion dollars worth and that maybe you know because they the, the they're using sophisticated um oh i'm trying to figure out the word i'm allowed to use but you guys get the the hint like they're allowed to use um or they they have been using sophisticated weapon weapons i guess is a good word to use um and so where are they getting the funding for this and it's you know it's evident that this funding is coming from iran allegedly in my opinion and now there there is a stipulation in this agreement that that the funds have to be used a certain way and that it has to be okayed or something i don't understand but the point of it is is were any of these funds used to fund this invasion and so that is the question. Were any of these funds used in order for the Hamas militants to get their hands on these sophisticated weaponries? You know what I'm saying? And so I don't, I, I'm, I'm totally, I, I cannot believe that this is happening. I cannot believe that they were able to just break through this, you know, border because it's just, you know, it's not really, it's possible, I guess, uh, because we see it happening, but it's, it's not that possible. And there is another YouTuber who has claimed that, that maybe this is a, See, I'm trying to watch what I'm saying here. That this was maybe staged. 
and that maybe the Israeli government knew about this all along. I don't know if that is the case. I, I hope and pray that that's not the case. I hope that, that, that he would not have done that to his own people. Um, but that is alleged. But there is people who are saying that, yeah, that this happened. But again, we, we don't know for sure. Now, we do know that at least 2,000... 200 rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip that Hamas militants broke through the border and entered Israel, killing at least. Now, they're saying 700, but at this point, it could be much higher than that. Um, and also, this is what prompted Israeli's government to declare a state of emergency uh, and the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated that Israel is at war. And, and he addressed this in a national address following the beginning of the, t the attacks. Now, let's talk about the implications of this. Is, is this something that can start world world war three in my opinion i absolutely um you know i've i've cried a lot today over this because of some of the images i've had i've seen on the news but i do know from the bible that israel is not going to be utterly destroyed I do know that I do know that at some point now I don't know if it will be in this war or at some other point in the future I do know according to the Bible that Russia and possibly probably more than likely Iran will get involved in this and According to the Bible, it's not going to end well for Russia. Now, do I back to the question, do I think that this is going to lead to World War III? I don't know. I don't know. I think that we are right. I think we are already, if you have to be at the very bottom of something, you're at the very tip of World War III. I think we've been there for just a little while now at that, just that little point of where it's at that point that anything could, could just break us right into it. And I think this is possible that this is the thing that may usher us into a full blown world war three. We're, this is something It's still early. We have to watch and see what's going on with this. I am going to be keeping you guys up to date on, on what's going on with this. Because if this thing, if this thing ends up dragging out and the prime minister of Israel did say that this may be a long war. If this is drags out and it is a long war. I could see uh, maybe later on potentially Russia and Iran getting involved in this. And then a lot of, uh, it, it's not going to be good. And I'm just trying to say this as best as I can, that we need to get prepared. We need to get our lives right with the Lord because you guys see but the Bible is not lying. The Bible is the word of God. And the word of God, it, is, it does not lie. And I, I pray for you guys all the time. I pray for you guys, even though I, don't, I can't be on here doing the videos all the time. But I will be doing these videos. Because I think it's important to keep you guys up to date on what's going on. And... I just think we, what we have to do is we have to sit and watch what what happens 
and compare it to the Bible. And if this is something that just, you know, drags out, we know that this possibly is, is the thing that is going to break out World War Three, And then, you know, and I hate to say how I think something might go because God always like does something else. And I'm like, wow, I wasn't even expecting that. You know, and it, because every time you read the Bible and you think, oh, wow, it's going to happen this way. And then God ends up doing it a different way, but it, it's the same result. Then it, it just shocks you. It's, it's like, wow, that's amazing how he did that. Because I never even thought that it could happen in that way. But if I had to take a guess, I would say that if this is the thing, the real thing, that's going to cause World War Three. I would say that eventually Iran and Russia will get involved. Russia's not going to make it. Um, those armies that try to go into there, they're not going to make it. The Bible says, you know, compare it with the Bible. Um, but there will be so much loss you know, so many people that will be, I don't know how to say this, let's say deleted, because we don't want to use the other word. Though so there will be so much deletion and so much sorrow and so much pain that people are going to be screaming and crying for this peace deal to happen. And in this peace, agreement that the Antichrist will stand behind this third temple is going to be allowed to be built if that makes sense the, the, they're going to be allowed to build the third temple but then again we know what happens with that the Antichrist he will break the peace agreement he will go against Israel and but it's important that we compare Bible prophecy with what is going on in the world because we have to stay up to date because this is happening quick. This is happening quick. And there's just no other way to say it. You guys have got to get yourselves ready. And it's easy, to, it's easy to say, you know, get yourselves food and water. But I say, get get your get your soul right, get your hearts right with God, because that's the only way, the for sure way, to prepare for these things that are coming. Now, today, the Israel. They did do, a, they are retaliating and they are firing missiles into Gaza. And I, I believe that there was word that they cut out the electricity. And, you know, they're saying, why should we supply electricity to people who have come against us? And so they did. According to, you know, from what I'm hearing, they did cut off the electricity in the Gaza. And there is missiles flying into Gaza. So, and also I want to say that they're my pastor. He is in Israel. Every year they do an Israeli tour. This year I kind of, I, I had a really sick feeling about it. You know, I, I just, I, I was thinking, mm, you know, there may be something could happen. I don't know. Um, but they are stuck there. And they're supposed to be leaving in a few days. So pray that they are able to get out safely. Pray that. Um, but then again, today they are just now starting to can't 
stop flights. They are starting to cancel many, many flights. And so hopefully they will be able to get out and maybe, you know, come back home to their families. I also have a friend that lives in Israel and I please pray for his family. Um, you know, it's, it's just a sad situation. It's very sad. Um, I don't know. I just, I think we need to be praying for the people of Israel. There are Israelis that, you know, so many that there, there's over, I think they said a thousand to 2000 people that have been injured, um, over 700 that have been deleted. There have been, um, people that have been kidnapped and they have been taken. Many of them have been taken over into the Gaza over across the border to Gaza. Why they would take them over there. I don't know, but some people are saying that maybe it's, um, that they're going to try to hold them, you know, try to get prisoners released for, you know, as a trade. Um, my heart tells me I, I know, and I'm going to cry because this, it breaks my heart, but some of these young girls that they've taken over there, it probably won't be good for them. Um, But I'm going to be back and I'm going to keep reporting on this. But please keep Israel in your prayers. And even please keep uh, the innocent people in Palestine in your prayers. We want to pray for everybody, you know. Um, it, it's just so sad. And just let's keep an eye on this and let's just see where it goes. And because right now it's still a little too early to tell and all we can do is just assume at this point we can't say for sure yes this this is what's going to lead us into world war three but this is a big push i think this is a big big push and so we just have to wait wait it out and see where this thing goes so I will be back shortly with another video, another update. And with that being said, please leave in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you know anybody that lives in Israel? Uh, do you know anybody, you know, that just, you know, leave in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this. God bless.